kind of hoping this is going to save the hall. Hey folks, welcome back. This haul video is from Tesco. So I went to the Tesco Extra store in Long Eaton. So as usual, I just bought the things that I need and that I don't already have, but I filmed things that I thought you guys might find useful in the store, so you can see what they like and see the prices and stuff. So let's get to it. So I found a section in the shop with all of the camping stuff. Um, a lot of it is this Summit brand that I saw in the range and you'll see a few of the items in the range video a couple of weeks ago. So firstly, a bit of a warning really, some of the stuff that I saw in the camping section was more for kind of campsite camping or family camping. There were some tent pegs that were £2.50 but they were made from stainless steel and they were really heavy. Um, there was a stainless steel bowl for, I think that was £4 so quite expensive and a plate for £2 which again there's cheaper options available and they were stainless steel as well so too heavy really for kind of backpacking and, and while camping. I did find further around the store in the kind of gardening section some plastic bowls that were four for £1.25 and they were either blue or green really lightweight you could buy a pack and just use them one at a time when you're out and they got plastic cups as well or beakers um, again four for £1.25 so they might be worth looking at. They'd also got again from the Summit brand a five litre dry sack that was five pounds um, but it felt really kind of thick and heavy almost like it was made out of rubber. The ones that I use are these packs from Amazon where you get five in a pack all different sizes and I've been using these for a while. They are waterproof but they're really thin and lightweight and they just work as you would expect. Fold them down and clip. Um, so the pack of those five was £12.95 I think and I've bought a couple of packs of them now because like I say I find them really good and really useful. I'll put a link to those ones below in case you're interested. You can probably find them cheaper on AliExpress or eBay as well so have a shop around as always. They've also got in the camping section um, a few sleeping bags most of them were the sort of really big ones again for sort of campsite, camping, family camping. Similar to the ones that again I saw in the range. They did have one that was a mummy sleeping bag for £16 and that had a comfort rating of 8 degrees and a limit of 4 I think it was. But it weighed nearly 1.2 kilos so again it's there as an option but you can probably get something that's much much better for maybe £20 or a couple of pounds more than that. So again shop around, check on your usual Amazon, AliExpress and eBay and you'll find something better than, than what they had on offer there. I did manage to find a plastic spork, as always, and it's £1.50, and it looked exactly the same as the one that I got in the range the other week. So this is the one from the range. It comes in this weird case. I don't know why it comes in a case still. But the one in Tesco was basically that piece, but with a carabiner attached to it through a hole that was drilled there. So if that's something you're looking for, you can grab one of those. They'd also got a bit of pillow, and I'm kind of hoping this is going to save the haul. So it's an inflatable camping pillow, similar to the, well I'm guessing it's similar to the Trekology Aloft ones. I've not looked at it yet, so we'll have a look now. So it folds down to quite a small size, you could probably fold that in half again. I've got my Trekology one here, so size wise they're pretty similar. Weight wise, I'll just check on the scales of truth. So this Tesco one is 104 grams and the Trekology one 100 grams exactly. So yeah let's have a look. So that's the Tesco one blown up. That's like I say, that's £1.50. It's got like a flock fake velvet material on it, so might be quite comfortable. Let me just blow up the Trekology one.
obviously a better valve on the Trichology one. It's a different shape as well, so if I'm far enough back you can see. Trichology one's bigger and probably, yeah, it's quite a bit thicker. And it's got the strap on the back, so I think it'd be a bit more comfortable, but that's, I think, 12 99 and that's £1.50, so if you're just getting started, even if you grab two of these and stack them on top of each other, I'd say they're worth a go. I'm not sure how long it'd last, but if you get a couple of nights, two or three nights out of it, and then upgrade to that, or something like that, you've not done too bad. You might find that an inflatable pillow is just not for you and you want more of a, a foam one or one that compresses down. But yeah, I'd say that one's definitely worth a look. I also grabbed some packs of these hand warmers. So these were 50p a pack, you get two in a pack. And I always take one or two of those with me when I go out. They're handy in the winter to throw into the bottom of your sleeping bag or just to put in your pockets as you're, as you're walking. They'd also got in the shop some walking socks. So they were two pairs of five pounds. They felt quite thick and they got blister resist, whatever that is, I think it's just a, a more padded heel in them to stop you getting blisters as you walk in. So again, they're probably worth a look. I've got plenty of walking socks though, so I, I didn't buy any of those. And they got packs of microfiber cloths that were four for a pound. So they're handy to, if you grab a pack, just take one or two of them with you for wiping down any condensation or cleaning things down. And they do compress down really small, so they're handy to have with you when you're out. Then on the food side of things, they've got your usual kind of pasta and sauce sachets and things like that. They were a little bit more expensive than B&M and Home Bargains, so I'd definitely recommend for your food stuff, getting it from those places rather than Tesco. On the cooking equipment front, they did have a couple of pans that were quite interesting. So there's a 28 centimeter aluminium frying pan that was on clearance at 95p. I didn't get one, I kind of wish I had now, but I probably wouldn't have used it. But it might be worth getting something like that and taking the handle off if your rucksack's big enough to slide something that size down the back. And they'd also got a 24 centimeter frying pan. It looked the same as the one that I used, so I got this one from Morrison's. Well, this was four pound and the Tesco one was two pound 75. I'm probably gonna look at taking the handle off this and getting some pot grippers just to make it easy to pack and make it a bit lighter as well. But two pound 75 for something like that, you can't really go wrong. And that was all I found in Tesco. So a couple of really good bits. I think the pillow is probably the best thing that I found. Definitely worth a look if you're after something like that. So thanks as always for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. I've got loads more haul videos, wild camps and outdoor cooking videos planned. So keep checking back on the channel. Or if you hit subscribe and give the bell a ding, you'll get told as soon as new videos come out. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.